It's 939 and you're watching News Channel 3 live at night on this uh, Tuesday morning. Beautiful Tuesday, as a Gorgeous matter of fact. Gorgeous Tuesday. We're always thankful to have you with us. That we are. All right, we all know there is a certain stigma associated with addiction, shame, and humiliation often keep people from getting the help that they actually really need. That's right, and their families from asking for support as well. But a new movement is celebrating the bravery it takes to seek treatment. Those people are indeed heroes in recovery. Carol Ricasa with La Paloma Treatment Center is here with recovering addict John Kilzer. And John, you're very, very um, insistent that you always use that term because you're always recovering, right? Indeed, yeah. We're, we're all in recovery from something, and if you don't feel that you are, then we can work the recovery program on that, too. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good Absolutely. point. So, John, what, what about the process of recovering? How was it, or how is it for you over the years? Um, it took a long, long time, Alex, uh, and, and um, it eventually happened by the grace of God. And what we do when we, with, with, with folks, with wonderful folks at La Paloma and all the folks at treatment centers everywhere doing what we do at the way on Friday nights is try to sort of expedite and catalyze that spiritual awakening that happens when you work the steps. And so we, 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 we tend to think that if you don't get that component that your chances aren't as good, yeah. uh, but it's all by the grace of God yeah. and, and, and love and family. And and admitting that you have a problem and there are those who can help and there's so many others out there. So tell us about what the point of Heroes in Recovery is really. Is it to get people to that place where they can reach out and say, I need help? Yes, Heroes in Recovery um, was designed to reduce, ultimately eliminate the stigma associated with um, substance abuse, substance addiction, and mental illness as well. Most people who do need help don't seek help, not for financial barriers, mm -hmm. but because of the shame and the stigma associated. And Carol, today is the stigma out there as much today as it was maybe 10, maybe 20 years ago? It seems to be. Um, research indicates that yes, because there is a lot more addiction now mm -hmm. than there was year, uh, several years ago. Uh, the Heroes in Recovery movement is were challenged to create a community of recovery. So not just people that are necessarily addicted or in need of some mental health intervention, but to create a community of recovery where the families, the community, mm -hmm. the employers, everybody involved with the with the people in, that need help can come together. And that's why we're having this wonderful event Thursday night. Features art, features just, music by John, of course. And just, just to celebrate recovery in general. And as John said, we are all in recovery. We're all recovering from something. Absolutely. And very quickly here, let's talk about some of the art that we have right here in front of us, especially th uh, this picture. This picture is... Um, Keep it right there, though. Oh, okay. okay. This is um, by our local friend, Ron Olson. Oh, we know Ron. <laughs> Ron, <laughs> is a, Ron is an artist. Uh, he's been painting for about a year and a half now. And this is one of his many pieces that we'll have at the show. Good for him. I didn't know he was the painting. The smaller pieces by a very well-known artist, Judy Vandergrift. Mm -hmm. She's got some great very affordable. All the art is very, very affordable. And the money raised will go? The artist will receive a small portion mm -hmm. and the majority of the of the proceeds will benefit the Church Health Center. Which also works in so many spiritual ways, emotional ways, physical ways. John, your encouragement to people would be what? Just to admit that you can't do it on your own? It, that would. That's a good start and, and to reach out uh, and, and reach up. It's, it's a longitude and latitude sort of thing. Yeah, we mentioned a little bit earlier uh, you will be uh, performing, so uh, can you give us a little sample in a couple of minutes on Live at Night? I would be delighted. Okay, Excellent. you heard the man right there. We're going to hold him to it. And we'll also tell you about another weekly event that you can attend as well that helps so many people um, with John as well. So here's the information on Heroes in Recovery on your screen. It's Thursday at La Paloma Treatment Center, and there's the number for more information. All right, Carol, John, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you for having me. All right, we promise you music. John is going to be back with us in just a moment. It's a treat. You don't.